So this is where we are going to do something a little different, guys. Instead of like starting a document right away, we're going to instead for this project, we're going to go to guided instead of expert up in the middle section here. And under guided, there are a lot of like kind of guided activities you could do with Photoshop. And if you want to try some of these after uh, we're done with this project, I encourage you to do so because uh, there are some really cool stuff um, you could do. We're going to go to the one. So under the sub menu at the top, there's one called photo merge right here on the right side. And when you click on that, uh, that will show you a few little things you could do. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff like extract an object from one photo and add it to another. So you could add like somebody who wasn't there to your picture, or you could change the exposure from like how Quinn is right now on his picture where he's very dark up front because he has all this light behind him. You could adjust that quickly and easily with the, these type of tools. Um, this is a morphing tool, the photo merge faces, where you could take two pictures and blend them together. Um, but the one we're gonna really uh, gonna do uh, is we're gonna look at this group shot one. And then there's a cleaner one and a, a panorama one, but we're gonna go to the photo merge group shot. Who just left? Was that Marina? Oh no, Marina isn't there. Who left? Oh, is it Amir? Amir. Um, okay, so we're going to go to Photo Merge Group Shot. And it's going to give you some instructions right away. It says select and control and click two to 10 photos in the photo bin. The photo bin is this gray area down here at the bottom of the screen. Okay, and then click on the Photo Group Shot again. Um, or select all. So we're going to uh, first open, click up here. We're going to open first some pictures. So, sorry, I'm going to open and I'm going to go to my graphic design folder. What? What do you mean it's on the bigger one? And I'm going to make sure my Photoshop, nope, it's not running. My Google Drive file stream. There it goes. Sometimes it doesn't start automatically. So I have to wait for it to start before I could get to open these. Okay, so let's try it again. There it goes. Okay, so. Let me go back one and I'm going to go to my files from last year and I'm going to go to my clones. So these are all pictures I took, I think at my desk last year. Okay. So I'm going to open them all at the same time here and say open and notice there they'll show up down here in the, in the gray area in a second. And again, you can't do this until you've taken your pictures first. So don't worry if you don't have your pictures taken yet. Okay, so I have my pictures there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on all of these. So I'm gonna hold the uh, control key down and I'm gonna click each one of these until they turn kind of white outline around it. That means they're all, and then I'm going to use all of these pictures in my, my group shot. So I'm going to go to my photo merge group shot again, and it's going to basically bring all of these pictures into this new kind of document. So it's not going to mess with the original pictures. I got a lot of junk on my desk. You ever have, you ever guys ever going to say? <laughs> Lots and lots of junk. Okay, and this is uh, helpful to use uh, your tablet pen with just because uh, it does make life a little simpler. So what I'm going to do first, and notice at the bottom here, it will um, 
kind of color code each picture. So if I make, let's say, uh, this one, where I'm over back here by my printer. So I'm going to drag that one to the blue side, uh, to the right side there. Or maybe I'll drag another one. Maybe I'll do it. There it goes. Okay. It's just being laggy today because I'm on Zoom while I'm doing this. Okay, so uh, so notice over here, I'm on this side over here. So, ah, sorry, it's being laggy. All right, so um, what I'm gonna, <laughs> it's taken a while to catch up on me. Oh my gosh, I clicked on too many things. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, let's see if that does it. All right. So over here, so I'm going to work on the left side, but it will compile on the right side, if that makes any sense. So on this picture, what I'm going to use is notice there's these, a pencil tool and erase tool over here on the right side. I'm going to make sure I click on the pencil tool and I'm just going to kind of draw an outline around me over here. Okay. And you're not going to see anything happen on the right side yet. But when I switch to one of my other pictures, so I'm going to switch to the orange one. Notice over here on the left hand side, it will show me where my green outline was, which is a little hard to see there. So I'm going to make my pen a little fat fatter. Um, so I'm going to come over to this one. And I'm just going to, and I'm going to get my legs too, because that's important. And I'm just going to draw a really rough outline. And on the right side in a second, you will see oh, it's putting the two of them together, which is kind of cool. And then you're just going to keep working like that. Go to the next one. So I got to figure out how I'm going to blend these two. Gars us together, and I'm going to get my legs. And again, because we're on Zoom, it's being a little laggy, but otherwise, oh, that was a pretty good one there. <laughs> uh, I have a little cleanup to do. If you, if you were to zoom in like right under my arm here and up by my shoulder, I still have to clean it up a little, but it's looking pretty good. And I'm going to just keep doing this until... I don't like that one. That's why I always take extra pictures in case there's one like this one that doesn't work. Because the reason this one doesn't work is because if I were to like click it, it would cover the two behind me. So I don't want to do that. So that's why you have to be careful about overlapping. There's one of me at my desk. And it takes a second. There I am. And I'm going to go to the yellow one right now. And then I am behind here. <laughs> and I'll go back to the last one where I'm over by the printer. So there I am. Oh, I might have to come back. Yeah. Oh, because there's something on my desk. Okay, so now I have six versions of myself in the same space. You guys only need five versions of yourself in the same space. Now, this is not done yet, by the way. What I would do at this point is I would zoom in on any of the areas like right here. 
that I think they're like it needs some work so I'm gonna make my pen tool a little smaller and by the color coding you could go in and figure out so I need to go to the blue one oops click here so I need to get a oops a little smaller Sometimes you have to switch tools and I'm just being impatient because it's slow. But you have to zoom in and try to make sure you kind of fill in those areas. Okay, I'm gonna try to erase. And if it means erasing an area and waiting to see if it, that, see that fixed a little. And then I'm going to come under my arm a little. So I'm going to use the hand tool to drag this up. And I'm going to go back to the pencil. And I'm going to get this area under my arm. And just wait for it. Okay, and then I'm going to... There it goes. So it looks pretty good right now. Fix a few little things here and there. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. So, I want to change the zoom up here, sorry. Go out. Okay, so it's looking pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy with it. So down at the bottom right corner, you'll see. Oops, I don't need to zoom in that much. Uh, there's a next button, and the next button, if you click on it, will actually compile and save uh, this new picture as a, a brand new picture file. So it, this is where you get to save it and name it and uh, save it in a specific place. So I'm gonna hit save, or I, or I could hit continue editing and expert. So I'm gonna say continue editing and expert. And the reason I say that is because maybe I want to adjust this a little. Uh, if there's any little things I need to fix, or let's say I wanted to use the crop tool to like crop it so I don't, see all this extra space on my desk whoops cancel let's try it again garza okay and then i could only keep what i want to keep from this without like having to keep all the rest of the stuff on my desk okay okay so now I've cropped it, so it's a much smaller picture. And then I'm gonna add a text layer, and you could add a title here, but at the very least, you should be entering your name somewhere, okay? And if you wanna add a title, you could add a title to this, or talk bubbles, or anything else you wanna to add to this. And then notice at the top here, you have your like different tabs. These are for your individual pictures, but this new one is for your clone picture. So you do have to save it right away. And I'm gonna call mine clone Garza. Because this is the second time I'm doing this one. And I'm gonna save. And boom, it's all together. Okay, now full disclosure guys, I've done this clone project several times, so I went through it really, really fast. <laughs> it might take you a little longer, okay? Just know that while you're doing the like clone where you're getting the areas, that has to be done in before you hit, before you close Photoshop. So you can't close Photoshop until that part gets done. Once you save it as a new file, then you could save it and continue editing it after that. 
but um, to get them all together in one picture, that has to be done in kind of one Photoshop session. So that is the only, so what you could do, and I've had kids do this in the past, is if you only had time to do two or three of you, your clones, save that one, and then you could add that one to the other ones later and do a second a clone, okay? Um, 